Hi, this is Dr. Paul Feuerstein, Technology Editor of Dentistry Today. And I'm here with a good old friend, Ed Sir. It's good to see you, Ed, Paul. how you been? Great. Well, we are both GPs, and what we do is give a lot of injections over the course of our day. And one thing that the patient really hates, and one of the things that sometimes we hate doing, is giving injections. Part of it is there's a little bit of pain involved, and there's also some unpredictability about the, uh, the anesthesia. And one of the things that's happening is we realize that even if you're the most painless practitioner, there's a little bit of a burn from the anesthetic because the anesthetic itself is probably acidic. It's in the three to four range somewhere in there, especially for the lidocaine. And there have been study after study after study that said, if you could possibly buffer this with something like sodium bicarbonate and bring the pH to seven, it would be a more comfortable injection. Well, not only has that happened, but, not, but the, it seems that when you give the injection, the injection comes on much stronger and much faster. So a company came out called Anutra. Did I say that right? Yep. And Ed's been working with them a little bit. I've been working with them a little bit. And why don't you explain a little bit about the pharmacology and how this whole thing operates? Gosh, the pharmacology is even beyond my own head. <laughs> well, all, I mean, that in detail. all I know is that you know we've. You're right. We've dealt with the pain portion in, on the anesthesia side of it, and probably even more than that, it's the unpredictability. We, there's sometimes we can go in there with the most perfect technique, but based upon how patients are wired, we just can't get them in as numb, as predictable as we would like to in the past. And so what we basically, we just adopt, adopted a science that medicine has been using for many, many years and buffering anesthetic. And we just never knew how to translate that into dentistry, where it was actually financially somewhat feasible for us. Well, it's been, it's been haphazard. I mean, you, right. you know, how much bicarbonate do you put in? How do you put the bicarbonate into the carpules? How do you do it? Right. And I think, you know, and, you know, buffering has not really even been new to me because I've been doing it for many years already as it is, but it's been neat and when Inutri sort of entered the market that we have a system now that is actually cost effective and also much easier for us to use in the practice. So right now I'm looking at a, a bunch of equipment here and yeah. I see a lidocaine, I see a little cartridge of sodium bicarbonate and this box. That's right. So how does this all come together? Yeah, it looks more complicated than really what it is, just because they have all the pieces and parts out. But oh, this is actually supposed to be inside? Yeah, this is actually okay. inside of it. Which is, so when I walk in, this system this. Yeah, is just set up with a syringe sitting in there. So when I walk in there, it's very simple. For me, If I depending on how many you know carps I want in the patient, then I'll just simply make you know make a couple clicks here and literally pull and click however much anesthetic that I want. And literally, I'll be ready to go and that's pre-mixed now with the it proper is. proportions. It is. And it's neat because in medicine we've had a you know, lower lock syringe for many years right. and, and for us we've been using our little archaic syringes. Right. We worry about loading you know, carps in there and sometimes bending the needle and then having to reinsert, putting new needles in. We have a simple lower lock syringe with this now. And the system is neat because it comes with the syringe and the needle itself. And this allows me to do multiple carpules. So if I want to do a full, yeah. if I'm doing a full case, I don't have to keep reloading the cartridge, and reloading the cartridge. I can do three or four. How many? About almost three and a half carps that you can actually put into a patient now. So if you ha if you're injecting in multiple locations, it's no longer about reaching over and you know three or four times. Even, even that in itself is a great little. Oh, it's a, it's. I mean, just from an ergonomic and just from a practical standpoint, what we do in the clinic on our patients, and it's 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 amazing. Simple so, system. So. The, the, the injection hurts a little bit less because it's a pH of about seven. That's right. And it comes on the, the uh, anesthetic comes on very very strong very quickly. How quickly is quickly? So, typical mandibular block for me, which is the, the one that takes the longest to get profound anesthesia, two minutes. Two minutes, and then up, up anything in the other parts of the jaw. You're talking about immediate anesthesia and anything that involves an infiltration, whether it's a, a mental nerve block or even on anything in the maxillary arch. So if you're doing instant anesthesia. You don't actually have to leave your patient while they're getting numb. You can actually give the anesthetic, get to work right away. That's right. So, so there are times where each of our schedules, whether we're running behind, there are times when we're sort of pressed when we need to get in there and start working. And so what this allows is the flexibility for us that if I, you know what, if I need to walk in there and I need to get a patient numb and get started because of my schedule, right. I can literally walk in there. There are other times where I have plenty of time if I need to make a hygiene check, sure. and that's great. The best thing I love about this system is whether or not you choose to sit at the patient and work right away or have to go back in what you've been doing traditionally, I had the flexibility. Whereas in the past, if I had to work on something lower arch and patients in hygiene, they need some work and I have an opening, if I didn't have more than half an hour, I couldn't do it. But all I need now is really less more, half an hour, I can pretty much finish almost any you know procedure if a patient's ready to go in hygiene now. This might be a wise guy question, but have you ever missed a mandibular block in your life? Of course. So, I mean, we all miss blocks. We <laughs> so all what I'm thinking them. is, so I, what my experience with this type of system is, I'll give it a mandibular block, and within two minutes I know if I missed it. So right. 
I don't have to wait three and a half hours and come back and see six patients and come back again and again and again. So I think that's even that, even from that little thing, that's been a very, very positive thing for me in use of this product. Yeah. That's exactly right. I mean, you know, if you, within two minutes, your patient doesn't feel their whole face go numb on a block. You know, you, you know, you can load up another syringe and go right back at it again. But I will say, I will tell you this, and again, this is where the chemistry goes way above my right. my pay scale. But it's <laughs> the bill. You're you you don't miss as many blocks because of the pH level of the actual anesthetic itself. So my I may have, whereas in a given week I might miss two or three four blocks a week. I, the last time I missed a block with with this, I can't. It's maybe it happened once in the last month. Well, in my own experience, I also found the patients say, "Wow, I'm really numb." It's really, it's, it's they see they see the feel. It's more profound. That's just a not. I'm not scientific on that, but that's just a sense I've been getting from using this type. Of Again, system. that's part of the biochemistry within the beauty of, of, of buffering anesthetic. Again, something that's not necessarily new with the Nutra, but the fact that we have some, a system now that's easy to use and as economical as economical as it is now. It becomes practical for almost everybody in their practices. So in the meantime, while we're talking about this, I understand you're up to a couple of new things. You got some new things going on, don't you? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we recently just took over a position over at LVI yeah, um, to, to teach out there, which is a great thing because for the first time in a major continuing education institute, we're going to start implementing you know, buffering you know, in the oh. near future there as well. So, you know, core three is, of course, in the post-year course that we take care of over there. And so it'd be neat to be able to watch all these doctors walk in there in a live patient setting, immediately give blocks and begin to start working right away. Make the teaching more efficient too. Oh my gosh, it saves our time and the time crunch. Because, I mean, there is a stress. Every time anybody works in the lower arch, if you miss a block, we're going back in there worrying about doing infiltrations, and we don't have to do that anymore. Oh yeah. So, I don't know if you know, but is, is it, Anusha must have a website with more information on it. Yes, there is. And it must be, uh, I my guess is anutramedical.com. The uh, A N U T R A medical.com. And I think there's a lot more information on there. And um, anything else you want to say? No, it's been a pleasure. I appreciate the time and the opportunity. I'm glad I pronounced your name properly for once. There you go. <laughs> Paul, thank you again. Hey, great to see you. Yep.